But I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> what the, the hell is that? Ew! Hello everybody, I'm Merle, and today I'm gonna be talking to you about the world of kombucha. Kombucha is a fermented tea that's made of bacteria, yeast, tea, and sugar. So nobody really knows where kombucha is from, but it dates back thousands of years. And now it's popular pretty much all over the world. There's not actually enough scientific evidence to back up that kombucha has all of these incredible health benefits, but we do know that it contains a lot of probiotics and that is very good for gut health. You need 14 cups of water, a container, a cheesecloth or a tea towel, a rubber band, one cup of sugar, eight tea bags. You can use green or white or black tea. And a funnel comes in super handy. And finally, you need this scope. SCOBY. SCOBY stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. You can get your own SCOBY online, you can ask a friend who has a SCOBY to split theirs in half, or you can make your own. It's very, very important when you're brewing your own kombucha that you keep it real clean, people. But you don't want to clean with soap because you could kill your cute little SCOBY. You're going to want to clean with white vinegar. I can't wait. I'm like more than mortified to even imagine killing this thing. I have poured vinegar over everything all over my body. Let's make this freaking kombucha already. Woohoo! The first step is gonna be to bring half of our water to a boil. So I'm gonna pour seven cups in here. We just have to wait. So the water's come to a boil, and now I'm just going to add my sugar. Take this adorable spoon and let that dissolve completely. What is that? Ow. Now the sugar is fully dissolved and I'm just gonna add my tea in here. Give it a little stir. Oh, don't want that. And we're gonna let that steep for like 10 minutes. So basically what you have here is a sweetened tea. Duh, I mean it's sugar and tea. All right, so now this has been sitting for about 10 minutes. I'm going to remove our tea bags. Okay, make sure that you wash all of your utensils, all of your containers, the funnel with vinegar. I don't think we need the funnel. I'm just gonna go for the gold and pour it right into this. Don't expect it to be neat. <laughs> well, that was less than graceful, but it doesn't matter. This is the rest of the water I have. It's about seven cups and it's pretty cold to bring the sweet tea down to room temperature. So then we can add our SCOBY. I'm gonna set this aside to let this cool down and I just find ways to entertain myself in the meantime. Want to do something cool? You know what? Just take a risk. Oh boy. <laughs> Room temperature sweet tea. All right, I'm sterilized. Time to open our cute little Scoby. What will we name her? Scoby Doo, Scoby Brian, Scoby Dick. Sounds like an STD. So we do actually want this liquid that the Scoby comes with. This is basically more kombucha, and that's just gonna help kickstart the whole process. So we're gonna pour that in, and now I wanna hold the Scoby. Oh God. Oh my God, there's two of them. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Oh God, they're so weird. They're like hard and soft at the same time. I have to say, I kind of love them. They're like forming to my hands. And they do this, which is kind of cool. So I guess now we'll have two in here, which I looked up and is not a bad thing. And don't be alarmed if they don't float. These two superstars are just floating right away. But if they sink or they're sideways, that's totally cool. They're just chilling. And now it's time to cover this up. You want air to be able to get in, but we don't want bugs or dust or anything gross to get in there. Voila. Now we're gonna wait like seven to 10 days. Then it'll be time to bottle. It's been around 10 days. I checked back in around the seven day mark and was taste testing the kombucha until it got to the flavor that I want. So now it's time to bottle. To keep your scobies happy and healthy, you want to put them in a cup or two of your last batch of kombucha. Or you can just add a cup of store-bought kombucha with a little bit of sweet tea, just to hold them over until the next time you're ready to use them. The first thing that we're gonna do is remove our beautiful little scobies. There we go. And some people will just keep a bunch of scobies together. So they'll have like dozens at a time in here just ready to use whenever you want. This is the part in the process where you can also choose to flavor your kombucha if you want to. Once you have your fruit in your bottle and you add your kombucha mixture, you're going to let it sit in the bottle for like one to three days to let the flavor infuse. And then you want to refrigerate it because you don't want it to ferment any further than that. And then in a few days, we can try it. Okay, 
The wait is finally over, and now I'm gonna try the kombucha, and I'm gonna bring in a few friends and have them all taste test it too, so you guys can see just how delicious homemade kombucha can be. Wow! <laughs> That's nice, you made this? Yeah. Oh. That's really good. Delicious. Yeah? Kombucha, through and through. It tastes like if you took apple cider and then you put some vinegar in it. So Not, apple cider vinegar? It tastes like apple cider vinegar and sparkling water had a baby. I don't know if you guys saw, but I gave it a... I wasn't too happy with what I got from that. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> But none of that funkiness actually came through in the taste. Good. It was it was pretty light. I like the bubbles. I like that it's not too sweet. If it doesn't taste like juice, it's healthy. This is definitely like your true blue original. Scooby? A scoby. Sco sco this scoba. <laughs> is this scoba scuba? Well, I want to continue drinking this. After Maybe finish I see it. it first. What the? <laughs> the hell is that? Ew! Ew! <laughs> I know. Looks gross. Okay. It's really cool. It's really cute. What is that? Scoby. Is that a mushroom? <laughs> no. I've made this in my fridge by accident. If you say it's healthy, I trust you because you're Merle and you know your stuff. Oh. So. Okay, so it seems like the reviews are in. People liked it. And honestly, it just like was not that hard to do. So if you're even the least bit curious, I'd recommend giving it a shot. And just remember, sanitize everything and have fun. And name your Scoby. The thing works hard for you. It deserves a name. Cheers.